This is a 2003 Dodge Dakota walk around. I'm going to show you every little ding on it. Two dings there. The rest of the truck is pretty nice. There's only one more ding on it, which I'll show you. Engine is clean. It's not sprayed with oil to make it look nice. It's just how I keep my stuff. Um, it's got 164,000 miles on it. Everything works as it should. Okay. No rust, no rot. It's a little scuff here on the clear coat. It's got a nice tiny cover. It's not the vinyl type, it's the, the uh, convertible top material. It's got the rear sliding window. The other dent is right there. It's got a little surface rust on it. Could be uh, sanded right away or brillo padded. Now, all three of those dents, the one above the light and these two, are from a tree branch that fell this way and came down and smacked the door. Uh, it's two years ago, I think it was one of the hurricanes. But um, that's it. The tires are brand new Fusions. All four rotors, pads, and calipers, as well as hubs, are new. You see the rotors in there. Okay, the interior is spotless immaculate. Have my son in here all the time, so the baby seat's in there. Okay, oh, I, pulled, I pulled the seat cover up so you can see how clean the driver's seat is. I just keep covers on them, I always have. Keeps them nice. Under the carpet. Okay, it's not worn out at all. Power everything. No check engine lights. Starts right up. One hundred and sixty four thousand and thirty miles. C D player, AC, cruise. Oh, whatever the hell that thing is, map light or whatever. Okay, here's the rear. Now I'll show you under the hood. Very clean, especially for the mileage. I always kept this truck nice. I have a couple nice vehicles. I like to keep them well maintained. Okay. Oil has just changed. There's no noises in the engine. It's got an Optima yellow top battery, which was a couple hundred bucks, and then cranks like a son of a bitch. Okay. Um. What else, what else? Oh, it's got a tow hitch in the front. That's where a lot of the miles came from. It's this, it was towed behind an RV. So it's got the receiver there. Um, it's got the electric brake right there for the uh, towing package. Okay. I'll show you, it's got the, uh, I'm pretty sure it's got, it should have the tranny cooler. It's a towing package. Okay, here's the tranny cooler, the towing package. Okay. Let's go for a ride. in the ad, it's got brand new exhaust. Um, I don't know what else. So everything's pretty well maintained. $4,000, you're not gonna find a better truck than this. I've seen what, you know, you can get for Dodge Dakotas for four grand. They're usually rotted out and beat on, and certainly not four door. So I'm just gonna turn around here.
Wasn't planning on doing this drive, but I'll do it. <laughs> Sorry to get the video rolling, so. Here the suspension's very smooth. We just hit some good bumps there, it didn't even rattle. More bumps here, big bump here. Just sucks in right up. It's for sale, 4,000 bucks, 03 Dakota 4x4. If you're wondering what that little switch is right there, it's for this little uh, roll bar light that I put on it. I took it off of a Jeep and I just plug it into the front receiver. It's pretty cool. You just click it on, you got like eight huge lights in the front, but uh, you know, it's obviously not hooked up now. So, you know, I'll take you for a little bit more of a ride. because I'm boring myself and I'm probably boring you. Good night, so I just came in here and just roosted everybody. But I'm not going to do it because I'm a nice guy. And a pumpkin, you can come down here and get pumpkins in your new truck, as well as maybe a carved bear, if you like stuff like that as an ornament in your front yard. Maybe I'll just pull out in front of a car and my full coverage will cover the truck and I won't have to sell it. But I don't think that would be a good idea. It wouldn't be very nice to the oncoming traffic. All right, goodbye, everybody.